Okay, let's have a look at uh, level three of Music Room. This is around about grade two. Okay. Have a listen. I'm playing the opening song and I'm playing it for a reason. We're going. We're going. Somewhere we've never been. Okay, now there was a reason that I played that because it immediately tells you that level three is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a little bit, um, a little bit more meaty, actually. Uh, let's go to the cover and have a look. You're still going to have, oh, so hang on, wait a minute. I'll tell you what I'll show you this first. We're going, still going to have four units, four terms, if you like, a whole year's lesson plans all done for you in double page spreads with audio tracks and charts and videos and whatever you need to do the lesson. And like the other levels, it can be done by a trained music teacher or by a completely non-music trained teacher. Okay. Um, but I said, I said there's a difference. What is the difference? Well, it's all about exploring music. Now, when you were singing that, there's those little echoes, uh, Rob was making up little scats, little vocal phrases. The students are going to learn how to do that in this level. They're going to make up their own little la di dars and scooby doos and that sort of thing. But they're also going to be exploring all kinds of music. They, you can see here you've got a, a student on the uh, like a classroom instrument, the xylophone. You've got uh, some students exploring movement. You've got music being made on a found object, and you've got music being made on in instruments that the children make themselves. So this level, this level is all about exploring and creating and presenting. It's an exciting level. Um, Another difference about it is that unit one and unit two are both the building blocks units. Uh, unit one, beat and rhythm, eight lessons on beat and rhythm. And unit two, eight lessons on pitch and melody. So we're getting more, uh, more um, in-depth work happening with the kids. Now, level three, oh, actually, let's have a quick look because some of you may not be familiar with a couple of things. One, one is ostinato, and I'm going to sh play you some ostinato. One, two, three, four, one, two. Rain, 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 drip, rain, drip, rain, patter, rain, patter, rain, rain. One. Okay, so you can hear from that. Or did you hear different patterns? There are a few different patterns all going at once. Each little pattern is an ostinato, and an ostinato is just a repeated pattern. But you can put repeated patterns together to make a piece of music. That's all done completely rhythmically. Um, that is with uh, body percussion and vocal. But when we get to level to uh, unit two, 
we're going to show them how to do that melodically as well using instruments and I might just see if we can uh, maybe have a quick look at one of those lessons. Okay. All right, here's, here's the ice cream man. And what you're going to hear is a little made up pattern using not uh, untuned percussion, um, like drums and tambourines or hands or knees, but tuned percussion, uh, which is xylophones or glockenspiels, those sorts of things. Have a listen. Now a student well. plays an ostinato. Using just three notes. Who's that coming round the corner? So there's no, it's not, there's not a lot of pressure on the students. They first start with one, then two, and then build up to three notes for their, their little uh, ostinatos, which are their own creation. But things really, hang on, I'll just get back there. Things really start to hop, uh, hot up in unit three my favourite unit, uh, tone colour, exploring sound. Let's see what you're going to be doing in that level, in that unit rather. Um, oh, well, we start really simply. Uh, three different ways of playing a tambourine, for example. Three ways of playing a tambourine. Oh, like I said. Firstly, hitting. Or. Number two, shaking either with your wrist or your whole arm. And thirdly, spinning the jingles. Three ways of playing a tambourine. We've seen that, don't show us again. All right, so uh, we, we're getting children to explore firstly the, um, the instruments that they have in the classroom, the, the instruments that they've now been playing for, uh, for two years. Um, and then they're going to make their own charts, like this one, uh, to show how they would notate each of those different ways of playing. Okay, that's the, that's the shaking, that's the hitting, and that is the swirling of the jingles, for example. Okay, now, next lesson, we're going to pursue graphic scores where they make up a, 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 a pattern for their instrument. This one is, is a score for tambourine and, oh, we'll be able to play it. Right, that's that bit. There you go. And that's a little, that's, uh, that's a graphic representation of the sounds that the student has put together. So they decide on how, on the order, and, and then they present it and they score it. Okay. Oops, we will go back to listen to. Okay. And uh, now, oh, this is a good little, little uh, piece here where where one student is doing his composition and the other student is, is showing those sounds physically. And we call it one puppet master. Etc. Okay. Radio, on to uh, the next lesson here is we, we uh, bring in the useful box and uh, find some interesting things from our kitchen to bring in to uh, the classroom. 
and we see what sorts of classroom instruments our found objects might relate to. And moving on. Now, uh, we start to make some instruments using containers and using rice, sand, paper, lentils, stones, nuts and bolts, whatever we can find around the place. And we make our instruments, we decorate them, and we start to play some music with them. We might play songs or we might play soundscapes. And we will start uh, with a diary of the words that we have uh, that describe the, the sounds that we have been making. So instead of just having loud and soft and that sort of thing, we can have whooshing, ringing, squelchy, peaceful, all those more interesting and different and subtler words. Here's another, uh, another uh, using the instruments that the children are making and also some classroom instruments, we're going to tell a sound story. And that's, uh, this is a, a boat at sea, that one, that one, of course. All right, now we start to uh, categorize our instruments into shaking and scraping and banging and tapping. You'll see that there are found objects and made objects and uh, made instruments rather and classroom instruments. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Hang about. Here we go. I'll just go back to the um, navigational error. Navigational error. Go back to the contents. And we're going to have a look at the last. I won't go through all of these, but we have for music all around us the, um, the context unit. We have music from different times, music from different lands, music for different purposes, music for dancing, dance that tells a story, and music that tells a story. And the dance that tells a story is. The Four Seasons Ballet. So again, it's, an, it's, a, uh, a re it's going to be really easy for the students to know what they have to do. And, uh, and they will be telling their story without words through movement and movement that works with the music. Okay, uh, you're all, now after, after this, we go to, um, the, con the end of year performance and this year the students are going to create their own program for a little concert and we get, uh, we're going to call it class in concert the students uh, decide on work that they've done through the year songs that they like um, performance pieces maybe one of their uh, found object creations and then they'll do posters and they'll invite people and uh, perhaps mum and dad might come along to that one. Okay, and that's, uh, that's where we leave level three. You naturally are going to be getting, oops, your, uh, your performance, your charts, <laughs> your uh, um, printable reward um, charts, and you're going to be getting um, the usual, uh, the usual add-ons with uh, content checklists and and um, curriculum stuff, all that sort of thing. And I'm going to leave that there so we can have a quick look at level four. And